good morning guys welcome back to the channel we are here back at it again in the garage and we are working on the abandoned gm ecotech motor there it is with all its glory so let me uh make sure you guys are up to date with everything that's been going on we pretty much took the exhaust manifold off intake manifold throttle body fuel injectors timing cover valve cover some accessories the pulley itself and this is what we are left with we are left with an exposed motor that is showing signs that the head gasket is bad we got milky substances all in the engine saying that it is no good so on this video today we are going to be taking the timing set off of the vehicle i'm going to instruct you guys how to do it how to align your timing marks and we'll get that off and hopefully by the end of this video guys we might be able to take off the head so stay tuned and keep watching so if you're out here asking yourself what's going on right now make sure you guys reference back the previous videos to catch up with everything that i've been doing but at this point in time we got the timing set already and the timing set i marked it in yellow i don't know if you guys can see but i marked them in yellow because i know when you get a new timing chain those uh those clips are colored and it's easier to for you to align everything with the timing gears but since we're going to be reinstalling this timing chain i went ahead and pretty much used the rust-oleum paint i made sure i wiped it down with the wax and grease remover before i put the paint on so i hope that paint stays on the chain over there so we have an easier time putting it back together so at this point what you guys want to do uh, to remove the timing chain we have to loosen up the cam gear bolts and uh, the way you do it is ideally you want a 24 wrench 24 mil wrench you're going to put it on the cam itself there's a little area for you to put it on right over there and then with that being there you're going to undo the bolt the problem is these bolts are torque to yield from my understanding and this engine has a lot of torque to yield bolts that are not reusable um, for our purpose you know with us not really needing the engine or anything and the budget has to be non-existent essentially so we're going to reuse these bolts and all the other torque to yield bolts and we'll we'll talk about these things once we get uh into the engine a little bit more but yeah 24 mil or an adjustable that we are using you're going to remove those first once you remove those you are gonna take this out it's a 10 mil allen and then you have to take out this bolt right over here this is pretty much the chain tensioner and then we'll be taking off some of the guides over here some it's all 10 mils we'll take off the guides uh, and then we should be able to pull that chain out so there's a lot of great do-it-yourself videos online you can always watch those or you can watch this one and uh yeah i already went ahead and pre-loosened this one and pre-loosened this one the timing um, bolt here these were a pain i don't have a 32 mil socket so i was able to use vice grips for this one clamp it right here and get it loose so happy about that again i don't have a lot of tools that i'm using so i'm using what i got and what i can to make this work so let's go ahead start taking these off i hate these adjustable wrenches but uh it looks like that's that's all we got to work with so Excellent, got it loose. Wasn't too bad. All right. So as you guys can see, these are the grooves right over here. That's where you place this one. Holds it nice and, and tight in place. So uh, at this point, since those are loose, let's take off the chain tensioner here. Again, this chain tensioner was, uh, was a little tricky to take off. So this is gonna loosen all the tension on the timing chain.
you guys can see it's spring loaded so the spring tensioner actually has a little hole here and that's for the oil pressure to travel through it and with increased oil pressure actually it might uh, increase that tension on the chain so the purpose of this one right over here is just to house a bolt that you have to undo to take off one of the guides you see this black guide right over here there's a screw over there that way you can drop the guide out from the bottom but before we take off these bolts for the cam gears we got to take off this timing guide right on the top so there's another two mil bolts in the back that we will have to remove so this guide has a great purpose because once the chain is loose it's actually gonna hit it against this guide and make a lot of noise so you'll know that if something is going on let's place that right here we lost the bolt and this engine is just nasty doesn't want to make you want to work on an engine this nasty so one thing i'm going to do just to have a peace of mind i'm actually going to take a zip tie and zip tie the chain around this little triangle on both sides just so I can keep these gears aligned just in case if this paint was to fade and I don't know how to put this back together back in timing I want to increase my chances of putting it back into timing so let's put it through there let's lock it up put one through there pretty good I can probably do one more here and again you guys don't have to do this and if you're installing a new timing chain it will have markings on the chain so this is again just preventative and at this point let's take this bolt out okay, bolt is out Pull the cam gear forward and see, we are probably at this point able to move some of the chain. We're gonna pull out that cam uh, guide from the top if we can. Doesn't look like we can. Wow, it's, well, it can't take it out from the bottom. Oh, yep, we got it from the bottom. So this is the other cam guide. Again, this one looks like it's doing great. Let's put that down. And uh, let's try to take off this whole assembly. All right, just wanna show you guys the chain on the bottom is completely loose right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull the cam gears out. And I should be able to just remove everything. All right. I'm really hoping I can take these out from the top if I gotta drop it from the bottom oh, I got it there you guys go timing chain pretty, pretty much the most crucial part of the motor is out again I'm glad I marked these and tied them because that should be able to stay intact I just gotta make sure I take care of this uh, timing chain link right over here the yellow one make sure I don't touch it so I don't take the paint off and we'll go from there. Let me put these away in a safe spot. All right, in case I need this, I'm including it into the video. This is the position of the indent on the exhaust side. This is the position of the indent on the intake side. And all we are left with here is the second timing gear because there's two, you know, one's the drivetrain for the head and the crank, and then this one. 
this chain right here. We're going to leave this on until we get the head off and we start taking apart the bottom end. But uh, we got the timing chain safely assembled in the box. We got all the all the bolts in their designated locations. So that's the that's the basic form of the timing chain. You got a sprocket here that drives the crank. And then you got the cam gears that drive the intake and exhaust uh, cam gears and cams. So that's pretty much it, guys. So at this point, we are moving along pretty quickly. At this point, guys, we got to start taking off some of the bolts that hold the head into the block. And there's quite a bit of them. It's the big ones. I'm not sure what size they are now, but there's probably about 10, 15 bolts that we have to take off. We still gonna keep the engine strap right now because these are probably gonna be torqued pretty high and we'll need that engine secure to remove those bolts. But uh, once we get those bolts off, we can pretty much lift the head up and we're gonna be able to see the truth, see the valves, see the pistons, uh, see the head gasket, which is probably the issue we are having at the moment. So let's get started taking off some of those bolts from the head. Well, gentlemen, I'm a little disappointed because we ran into a problem here. Let me show you what it is. So first we have to take off these bolts right over here. And I do not have the socket for these. These are like the star points, but I need like a female socket for these star points. And there's four bolts. There's uh, two on the inside on the edges. And then these two here. I don't know why they would use these kind of bolts or nuts or whatever when everything else is just a hex but that's what we are running into and then you know once we can get those off we can finally start taking off the bolts that hold the head down and again i'm not sure if i already mentioned it earlier these are torque to yield head bolts so they will require um, replacement before reinstallation for someone if they were actually rebuilding this motor We'll see what happens with this motor still. I have no plans for it currently, but things can change and uh, we might rebuild the motor. We'll see how things go and how much revenue we can bring in from YouTube. Again, here is the timing set. Nothing was damaged on the timing. I believe the, the timing itself was set properly. Only noise we were having again was with that timing chain hitting that uh, chain guide on top other than that everything is looking good here like I said aside from the sludge the only thing we might be having an issue with with this engine is the head gasket sorry guys I really wanted to take this head off but for this video we're gonna have to cut it short we're gonna see if bullets garage has these tools if not we're gonna have to go and rent them or buy them and go from there start taking the head off hopefully you guys enjoy this content if you do or learn anything from my mistakes please like that video subscribe to the channel and keep watching because we got a lot more videos coming out from the abandoned gm ecotech engine thank you i ain't here for the money i ain't here for the fame though it might be nice to own a jet plane i'ma do it all for you come along and see us true.